Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to uh, cover another way of extracting data for data analysis purpose or for building some machine learning models. Well, there are many data sets that you can find online with, uh, you know, varied information. Sometimes you wish to uh, extract data on your own and, uh, you know, begin your uh, own investigation. I'm actually going to introduce APIs or application programming interface uh, in this section or in this uh, video uh, and uh, also cover how can we um, uh, pull the data from uh, a specific website which gives API endpoints to extract the data. And I will also be using Python to write the scripts to pull this uh, particular type of API, uh, this particular data using these APIs. And please uh, note that uh, we are still in obtain phase of data science life cycles uh, ROSM framework. So we are discussing, uh, you know, various ways to extract data for analysis purpose or to perform some anal analytics. OK, so in the previous uh, videos, we discussed about, uh, uh, you know, extracting data from NoSQL databases, uh, you know, doing some web, web scraping methods to extract the data from websites. And then there is another, uh, you know, video series which I have created uh, through which you can extract the data from flat files like CSV. You can basically uh, simulate your own data for building uh, machine learning models like regression models, uh, clustering uh, models or some, uh, you know, classification models, right? as well as uh, that particular series contains uh, one particular video which uh, dip, uh, which shows you actually to uh, extract the data from relational databases uh, like mysql so in that particular um, video uh, we establish a connection with the database and then we fetch the data from uh, relational databases so that's a different series. You can watch uh, that uh, particular series, uh, you know, in my uh, given on my channel. OK. So folks, uh, this is Nitin who is on a mission to democratize uh, the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, uh, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I'm uh, creating the associated content and publishing it on a periodic basis in order to make it available for entire community who wants to learn uh, you know these modern technologies and you can subscribe to my uh, channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of 21st century and you can also follow me on twitter uh, at the link given in the description section i have also added a sub subtitles uh, in languages like uh, Hindi, English and French for your convenience. So you can enable them as per your needs. OK, so what are APIs? Well, API is something that is uh, that, uh, you know, um, any particular website could just uh, design to give out their data and allow you uh, or your web application to communicate with that data. So there are several popular framework that gives developer access to their web services, also known as APIs or application programming interface. And these platforms uh, are uh, Twitter, Facebook, Yelp, etc. And these are pretty easy and it's straightforward to work with. Right. So these uh, basically companies uh, provide some endpoints where you can uh, fetch the data from. So using APIs, uh, APIs uh, is the official way for ex data extraction and uh, doing other stuff allowed by such application. Uh, you can even benefit from, uh, you know, some APIs to build other applications. OK, so REST APIs uh, are usually uh, something which uh, generate output in, uh, you know, JSON or XML format. So JSON is uh, Java script object notation. And because uh, most of the programming languages uh, basically use these two uh, formats uh, or handle uh, these formats easily. And in fact, JSON is very similar to data types in, uh, you know, the, the data types we have in programming languages. For example, 
it is very similar to python dictionaries so if you see the structure so you can see the structure uh, given here right for json data okay so it is very similar to python dictionaries uh, okay and if a rest api allows uh, you to get the data uh, you want to retrieve then uh, you uh, you know do not need regular web scraping okay so in the previous section i introduced a web scraping to you so you need not that web uh, need not to do that web scraping if you have api access okay or if a website provides you an api to access the data they have okay so some apis require uh, authentication uh, so authentication meaning uh, there are certain api key or client id or client secret or you know any similar uh, username or password okay so all those sort of things you need to provide in order to access the data or in fact you uh, you need to provide those things uh, to authenticate yourself twitter is something which uh, i think you might be familiar with uh, and it asks for secret key secret uh, api key uh, etc on their platform so this is required in order to control their usage and uh, you know some of the website do not actually allow or doesn't actually uh, need to provide those api they can directly give you the access uh, through apis they need not uh, you know authenticate yourself so those are the other kind of websites okay so for this tutorial purpose uh, i would be using uh, not in fact this tutorial uh, in the next section this this is the first part in the second part i would be covering uh, a particular api from a company called coin market cap to access the corresponding data okay well coin market cap is a uh, cryptocurrency exchange okay you might be aware of it so this coin market cap allows uh, api to provide their data uh, so that you know uh, developers like us can build certain applications to uh, you know uh, based on or uh, top on the top of that their data so you need to visit uh, the link uh, this is the link okay this is the website so this is the website link https coinmarketcap.com slash api slash okay and this on this particular link you can uh, you know get your api key now okay so you can click on this particular button get your api key now and uh, you can basically get the credentials here so you need to visit this website to create an account first okay uh, if you don't have any account already then you need to create the uh, one if you have already then you just need to log in and get the access okay so you need to create an account in order to get this authentication uh, credentials like api key or client id or client secret and these credentials as i told you earlier are required when your endpoint is not publicly accessible okay so if it is private in nature you just need to have these uh, you know credentials to uh, access the a uh, data website data through apis okay and uh, i am already actually so let me open this i'm already uh, i've already created an account so once we create an account the interface looks like this and this is the api key section so you can just copy on this api key okay and you can just copy on this api key to get the uh, this key to to be used to access the data from this website okay i can regenerate i can disable the key on this particular platform okay so this is the way you can do it <clears throat> and uh, you can basically um, one thing to tell you so if you click on this you get your api key now you will be asked to select a plan okay so there are several plans here uh, okay i think i need to log out first
okay so here if you scroll down you are you have to select a plan from here so basic plan is uh, for personal use but then you have several other plans as well okay uh, one is hobbyist plan uh, you know if you if you want to run any per personal project then you can select this then there is a startup plan uh, for basic commercial use so there is some uh, fee you have to pay for these type of uh, plans but you don't have to pay anything for basic plan okay in order to use it so that was just for your information so you can use uh, as i told you earlier basic plan for uh, your personal use okay so you can select this plan uh, so after signing up uh, you need to copy your api key okay so this key. okay you need to copy this so you need to copy this api key uh, and you know uh, paste it in your program so whichever program you are writing python program or java program you just need to copy paste this api to access the data okay and you will be given an api endpoint from where you could access this data using your personal api key or client id or secret key okay so what is endpoint well an endpoint uh, by itself is just a reference to the uh, uri that accepts a web request okay that may or may not be restful okay rest okay so restful so those endpoint might not be uh, might or might not be restful in nature okay so you need to have that uh, endpoint in order to access this data and uh, you can go through uh, the, you know this coin market cap documentation link so this is the link for coin market cap okay let me show you look so here is the api documentation okay so you can just uh, very well access the entire documentation uh, for building your application so in order to build your application okay so here is the quick start guide right so you can see uh, everything given here you can see java code examples in node.js uh, python php java c sharp go etc okay so um, you know uh, i would be utilizing this uh, particular uh, a guide um, in fact you can also utilize it to build your application so um, we would be taking certain uh, code specific details from this particular uh, so you can see here endpoint overview so you can see there there are different endpoints given here so we can we utilize these details in our application okay and as a part of accessing the api content and getting the data into a csv file we so after we access this particular website uh, endpoint we will try to extract the data and store it into csv file right in order to do that we have to import a number of libraries and uh, some of you uh, you know some of the libraries you are already aware of one is request library which i introduced already so request library uh, i introduced it in a you know previous video where we did some web scraping right so request library helps us uh, getting the content from api by using the get method okay and then there is a json method uh, which converts the api response to json format for easy handling then we have uh, actually a pandas library which helps to create a data frame which we can export to a csv file in correct format with proper heading and indexing okay then there is a library called pretty table okay and this pretty table library uh, helps us in storing the data in tabular format so the question is what all information can be accessed from this api okay we can basically fetch all the currency names okay their prices and all the percentage changes based on the price in one hour 24 hours seven days etc so that this kind of data we can extract from uh, this coin market cap uh, website using its api okay 
all right so folks uh, this is it for this uh, video and to conclude we learned about uh, you know we learned about what exactly our api is what are the requirements to access data from the api endpoint you know python library is required to help fetching this data as well as uh, you know details about the coin market cap website api uh, uh, you know documentation in fact so i will be covering the part 2 of this topic in the upcoming video where i would be writing the python code to fetch data from coin market cap api endpoint okay so here is today's question uh, what is your most preferred uh, data extraction uh, option in order to build a machine learning model please share your comments in the comment section given below okay and if you are watching this uh, video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking on that little subscribe button uh, and in case you are already a subscriber then uh, click on bell icon to receive the notifications uh, whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out uh, uh, with us guys i will be covering the next uh, topic in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you